Hi everybody. So this is my 19 week update. I am actually home, well like at my sister's house, but it's pouring rain outside and my kids are sleeping. See? The other, you can't see the other one, but I'm deciding to sit in the car and wait till the rain stops so that I don't have to get soaking wet. Oh my gosh, it just started downpouring out of nowhere. But anyway, this is my 19 week update. I thought I'd take this time to make a video since they're strapped down and can't jump on me like in the last video. Um, really nothing has changed. Um, I haven't had heartburn this week, which is good, but I also haven't had any like tomato sauce, pasta, so I think that's what triggers it. Um, my sciatic nerve is still there, and usually when it's there, it's there for the rest of the pregnancy. So it is, I think my boy woke up, but my girl's still sleeping. Anyways, um, it oh, looks like I'm naked. I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> um, it's on my left side, like it's on my, it's like right in the middle of my left butt cheek, to be honest. And um, that's where I feel most of the pain when it strikes. Uh, other than that, I haven't had any cravings. I haven't, I, oh, nausea, nausea, nausea has come back for the last two days, but I think it's because of how dizzy I'm getting with my low blood pressure. I can't keep up with eating all the time. I can't, I just, I'm too busy to, I forget what the time flies and I'm like, whoa, I haven't eaten in like four hours. I'm really dizzy. When I'm dizzy, I have to put my head down and get enough energy to make myself a snack or something. Um... <coughs> I just can't keep up with it. It's really, really annoying. So usually when I get really dizzy, then I start feeling nauseous. And that's horrible. A new symptom has been my sense of smell. Um, I always have a sensitive sense of smell when I'm pregnant. But this one was, like, affecting me. It was Wasim's poopy diaper, and I was literally gagging at the smell of it. It was disgusting. And I don't gag. I change poopy diapers all the time, so it's not a big deal. But this one was a big deal. It was so bad I was gagging. So my sense of smell has been there full force. Um, I've been a little bit emotional this week, probably because of hormones and all the stress that I'm under. I'm trying to find a house, living in very small quarters with three children, a pregnant belly, my sister, and my husband isn't the best situation, but um, we are searching so hard to find a house, and we just saw one today. Hopefully we get it. We, I will let you know if we get it. Um, the houses that we are looking at are gorgeous, though, so if we get any of them, then we will be living in a nice place, because they're so nice. Um... Yeah, so the, our status with the living situation is the same. Still here with my sister. Um, pregnancy hasn't changed too much. Oh, wait. Pregnancy changed a little bit. See, I'm remembering things. I can feel the baby move, like, at least once a day. At least. Like, twice a day, maybe three times a day. But at least once a day. And it's at night when I lie down and ready to go to bed. I can feel the cutest little flutters and, like, movements. Like... Like not, I can't feel elbows and and kicks or punches yet, at all. But I am feeling like, like she just moved over here. She she's moving, she's doing things, and I can feel it. And it's so cool because, when besides the dizziness and tiredness, I really don't feel like I'm pregnant, which is good. I'm not complaining. I don't have many symptoms, which is great. But um. When I feel her, I'm just so reassured that she's okay and she's moving around and everything. So, like, this has been a very nerve-wracking pregnancy for me. I don't know why, but I th maybe it's because it was such a surprise. Um, I'm very nervous about that kind of thing, like, making sure baby's okay. So, whenever I feel baby move, I love it. He's singing back there. Um, anywho, I think that's about it. Not too exciting. Uh, hopefully next week I'll have more to update on because hopefully we'll have a house by then. And I believe my ultrasound is on the 15th, I think. I have to check on my book. I think it's on the 15th. And then 
hopefully if the baby cooperates, I will know what we're having and still working on my husband to find out what the baby is. So yeah, that's about it for now. I, the rain has stopped, so my plan worked. The rain has stopped and I'm going to quickly take my children out. Hopefully I can throw her back in bed and she'll just go right back to sleep. Um, sounds like we'll see him out for the rest of the day though. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Bye!